Hey guys, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama and oh, I have decided today that instead of moving my huge heat press machine from my craft area, I would rather sit on the ground and show you guys my haul. So I'm hope I literally have like we have a big kickball that's right here and I have like a box balancing on top of the kickball with on top of that is my camera um phone whatever thing that's holding my phone so I'm hoping it doesn't roll off if it rolls off we are going to keep going it's going to put you back up there okay so I'm exhausted today I'm so tired um I did go see another specialist today which I'm very excited because my thing is as long as you tell me what's wrong I'm good but don't just say like yeah we don't know what it is so we're just going to keep doing infusions no like at least try to figure it out don't just be like We'll, we'll figure it out. So anyways, I was really happy to see this other um, specialist today. And um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, it's not fun, but I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so tired. So um, it's a little over an hour away um, where we had to go. And um, I was already tired to begin with. And so I'm just exhausted. I'm so tired. But with me going back to work full time, this YouTube thing is kicking my butts. Like before I was like, oh yeah, I got videos lined up. I got this. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, like they're not going to get a video for three weeks because I'm so tired. So let's get this video done because I am so excited. Um, we have always done a real tree. So if you watched my little miniature um, collab, with a lot of other people, um, I did the Dollar Tree fake Christmas tree. And then we decided this year that we were actually going to get a fake Christmas tree for our house. Well, we decided so late that, let me tell you guys, there was no Christmas trees left in our town. And it's not very small. Like, our town is not very small at all. I mean, it's big to me. But so we had no Christmas trees left. So we had to order it. So it didn't even come in until today, which is two weeks before Christmas. So I am slacking and that's why I have not done a house tour yet, but it came in today and my husband put it up and I was like, why does it look so funny? And he's like, you have to fluff it. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, I don't know. So I haven't fluffed it yet. I'm too tired, but I want to show you what I got for it. So I have decided I want to do like a red and white theme. I think I'm really trying not to like the top of my head is like getting cut off, but see that I go messing around with it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try not to cut off the top of my head, but also, I think that's a little better. I don't know. It's probably going to fall off the ball. I'm sure out of everything in this garage, I could have found something better than a round ball to put you guys on. But, so I decided to go red and white. So I'm so excited because I feel like when you decorate a fake Christmas tree, what made me ultimately decide to get a fake Christmas tree is I went to one of my patients' houses and their tree was absolutely gorgeous. And I just feel like for some reason now, it is so much easier to decorate a fake Christmas tree than a real Christmas tree. And they look so much more beautiful. I don't know. So I just picked up stuff. I have no, I've never done my tree like this beautiful elaborate thing. It's usually just like decorations and stuff and there's no rhyme or reason. But this time I have, I think I have a rhyme and reason. So I saw people like they poke these into their, oh, hello. Oh, so this is the 99 cent store. Yeah, I, there's Dollar Tree also. But so how many do I have here? Three. And they are golden jewels and they are, it's a spray, 18.5 inches. That's not even the right way. Anyways, so they are red and they have glitter and I got three. So I plan on putting, sticking these in somewhere. I don't know. Like I said, I saw people stick them in. So that's what I'm going to do. And then this is just the berry pick 6.5 inches and there's five pieces. And I got those because I feel like the red may not stand out the greatest because it's a green tree. So I really wanted to add some red in there too. And then I thought, well, I need these little things. So what do you guys say? It just says vintage Santa spray, 20.87 inches. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think I need five to be honest. So, but I got five and I'm just going to stick these in somewhere. I have no idea, no idea, but I'm just going to stick them in. I think they're so cute. I love them. I love them. So I'm going to stick them in there. And my Christmas box is actually right here that my husband has to carry inside for me. I'm going to sneak them in there and act like we had them. He's going to know. Somebody one time, oh, this bag's empty. Somebody one time commented and they were like, oh my gosh, you have the worst um, relationship with your husband. You hide stuff from him. No. 
I act like I hide stuff from my husband. He knows. He's not dumb. Yeah. We just don't talk about it. You know, I'm sure a lot of us are like that. We just don't talk about it anymore. Anyways, these are Home for the Holiday Berry Picks 6.5 inches again. And these are five pieces again. And these ones are the red blocked. Guys, I'm just going to shove these in somewhere. I have no idea. And then I picked these up. So these are by Country Silk. And they're just really pretty. And they're glittery. And I love glitter. So they're two small ones with like little triangles and stuff. So if we get rid of the bags. Not really, but... Trying to keep it so that I'm 99 cents for and then I don't mix up with the Dollar Tree. Ooh, so apparently I really like those. This little bulb fell off when I was dragging stuff from my car to over here, so I know it's here. But So apparently I got quite a few of these because I think they're beautiful. Look at the gems on them, you guys. So pretty. Yeah. Put them in there. What else did I get? Oh, I got this because everybody has ribbon like coming down their tree. So I was like, well, I need ribbon coming down my tree. So this is um, Icy Snowflakes Decorative Ribbon, 2.5 inches by 3 yards. I think that the one at the Dollar Tree was 9 yards. So I think I got gypped because where the heck is... Wait, that's not 3 feet. I don't know. I don't know how the... I don't know. My feet... My tree is seven and a half feet tall. This doesn't tell me how many feet. I don't know. Anyways, it's like white and silver and it has, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to, so it has like mountain tops on it and they're silvery. You can't really see them, but I got two. There might be more. Um, so I can like bring them down. I saw it and it looked cool. And then I did pick these up because I want to see if they're any different than the Dollar Tree ones. So these are the candy cane spoons, peppermint flavored, and there's three, six, and these are also individually wrapped, but I just want to see if they taste any different um, than the Dollar Tree ones. That's why I got them. Yep. And then I saw this and was so excited because I don't know what I'm going to put it on, but I love lemon. I love it. And this is creamy lemon supreme frosting in a big container, Duncan Hines, 16 ounces. Not the small one. Guys, I will eat this with a spoon and just sit there and eat it. I love lemon. And the best thing is my family doesn't. So, like, anything lemon, I don't have to share. No. Nope. I'm like, what is all this? Hmm. I don't know. I don't I, This might be from the Dollar Tree. Or it might be... Nope, this is from the 99 cent store. An elf hat. 13 inches. It's for me. Because I love elf. And I need this hat. So, mm -hmm. yeah, except for the bell. I will cut the bell off. That will drive me insane. So I did, last weekend, I did a craft fair, and I was here, and the guy that was, like, singing and playing music was right here. So for four hours, I, it was, he was good, but he would have been good in moderation and not right next to my ear. So it, it was, it was tough guys. It was very tough. And then I got these from the 99 cent store, which I was so excited to find. So these are the hot cocoa balls, 0.83 ounces, milk chocolate with marshmallows. But guys, these are the salted caramel. Oh yes. Yeah. And so I don't know how they taste, but they're salted caramel. So they're going to have to be good. So these are going on my hot cocoa bar, which I cannot wait to show you guys. Just stick them in the box. And then they also had just the milk chocolate with marshmallows. And I just wanted to compare that to the Dollar Tree one also. So I got that. There's more in there. There's more somewhere because I remember I bought quite a bit. And then I needed these for something, but I never used them. So this is five ounces of the Baker Green Sugar. So you guys, let me just tell you. If you guys have ever, ever, I know that Dollar Tree carries this now, but they don't always have it. But if you have a 99 cent store, you guys, they always have these and they have like extracts and they have food colorings, everything, they always have it for 99 cents. Like extracts are extremely expensive. They have lemon extract, um, rum, almond, all that for 99 cents. And it's not bad. It's a pretty good extract. Um, and like I said, this right here, I love to do because I love to put this around cups, like the edge of cups. Like, it's so good. Like, for a regular drink or for an alcoholic drink, like a margar like a strawberry margarita that you don't want salt on, you put this around the edge, that's even better. So I got those. Like I said, the 99 cent store always has them in so many different colors in this huge container. They do. I think everything else is from the Dollar Tree. I think so, guys. So, 
a lot of this. Like I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to do a craft with that. I don't know. Um, so this actually is the Family Feud Survey Showdown card game. And I don't know how many cards are in here. But my family and I love to play games. And definitely on Christmas Eve and stuff we play them. Oh, it says 49 question cards, 3X cards, and 2 instruction cards. So I got these. And so we actually play Family Feud on our phone when we are traveling all the time. All the time. But, you know, you only get so many coins. And once we lose our coins, we don't have them anymore. So I got those. And I'm going to show you guys the... Um, the thing I made for like our travel games, I use the color forms and like I put Velcro on the bottom of them and on the bottom, on the top of my bin so that the things don't fall off. I'll show you that, like my little travel game board box that I have now. I like it. I'm very excited about it. Try not to move too much because the bell is going to drive me insane. Oh, I think I showed you guys these the other day. The night lights. I got more, quite a few more. Um, so yeah, I just want to see if I can put like some glitter in here and stuff and just make it cute. So that's what I got that for. Um, this is just sinus congestion medicine, which you guys don't want to see, but whew, you know, my husband and I had this cold. It was so bad. It was literally worse for us than COVID. It was. And then, sorry, now that, um, my symptoms are coming back again from whatever I have. I'm out of breath again. Like, so, and I mean, it doesn't help any that I talk so much, but it's definitely tired. Like, I'm definitely out of breath all the time. I found this tablet stand. Um, yeah. Yeah, like this. Yeah. So I found this tablet stand from Jot. I think it's so cool because I do a lot, a lot of notes um, because my, um, skilled nursing job, I do those at work, but my home health job I do at home, like my notes at home. And, um, sometimes like I start to hurt because we have a high top table and stuff. And so I think that this is, and like, I like to do them in bed sometimes because I'm so tired. And so this, I can just set on my lap. I love it. So I got this little tablet stand. It doesn't tell me how big it is, but it's a tablet stand. Yeah. This energy. Oh, let me put the stuff that is not Christmas. I need to put it in this bag so I can take in. So hold, please. Okay. All right. So I have these from my walkthrough like a month ago, and I hadn't hauled it, so that'll tell you how long I've had it for. And these are just the ornaments, four pieces, but I want to get it kind of close because you guys, like I've gotten the um the red trucks and stuff from the Dollar Tree before. And they're kind of janky. I mean, they're nice. I put them in my bathroom. But guys, these are gorgeous. Like these, the paint on them is amazing. And they are just a very thin wood. And there's four of them. So I thought those were cute. I got those. And then these, everyone has the miniature tags. But I thought these were cute. Again, these are from like, okay. It was nice knowing you, but I just can't do the bell for right now. I'm going to have to cut that off. Anyways, so these are by Christmas House also, and these are the four pieces of the smaller tags. So this one says, Happy Holidays, Holly and Jolly, Naughty or Nice, and Merry Christmas. So I got those again. I think that walkthrough was like a month ago, and that's what these are from. Because I really haven't gone to the store much, but I haven't really hauled much because, yeah, I hadn't been feeling good. Oh, I got a third one of these ones. So that's just the same ribbon for my tree. And then apparently... Oh, apparently I really liked the, um, um, the little tag things because I got two packages. And then these ones are the wood. These I love, love, love. These say Merry and Bright, and there are six of them, and they're little snowmen with little black, um, and look at, like, the little black, um, scarves, but, I mean, they're made so good. Their painting is so good. I love them. There's that. Let me see where I'm at. So I'm going to be honest. This is a surprise for all of us as to what's in here. I picked these little pump spray bottles up. There's two of them in here. Two fluid ounces each. Um, I'm going to try to make bath bombs. And it says you need like a squirter. And um, so I bought these for the squirter. I don't know. Um, oh, I've been looking for these. These are just the scrub buddies for tough cleaning jobs. Two pack. Love them. Love them. Love them. So I got those. I was looking for those today. This, we were out of brownie mix in my house, and I don't know how that ever happens. So, um, these are 8 by 8 Duncan Hines, 10.5 ounces. And so, I did pick up two of these. don't know where the other one is right now, but I picked up two. These are amazing. Love them. Love them. Okay. Put them back in here. So, 
I'm going to be doing little light gift baskets. So if you guys remember the little bathtubs, and I think it's over there. I just don't want to get up and get it. But if you guys remember the little bathtubs that Dollar Tree had, so I'm going to get those bathtubs and I'm going to put in like, um, I'm going to make some bath bombs. I'm going to make some bath crayons and I'm going to put some bath salts all in there. And so I picked these up two in one package to put in there also. So these are just the April bath and shower and there's two in each package. So I picked these up just because I mean, two for a dollar instead of one for a dollar. So I picked those up in there for little people anyways, so they'll be fine. And then I'm going to make bath paint for my patients. And so I needed containers for the bath paints. And so these are 10 of them and they're 2.3 fluid ounces. And so these are going to go in their little bathtubs also, but I needed something that wasn't too small, wasn't too big and had a lid. So I got those for my bath paints for my patients. Yeah. Oh, and then this is what, mm, yay, it opens. So this is what I got um, to make the bath paint. So you use like one to two ratio with this and cornstarch and then either food coloring or um, like um, bath bomb coloring kind of stuff. So I picked up baby wash because it's a gentle formula, 15 fluid ounces per cara, but I picked up the baby wash because it was a gentle formula. And so I didn't want to pick up like an adult one with scents and stuff and like make any of my kids allergic. So I'll use like two cups of this and one cup of cordon starch. And then you just put in your coloring and then you have your paints. So, so now everything else is in here is going to be like that too. So this is 100% pure refined coconut oil, 7.25 ounces. And I need coconut oil for my bath bombs. So I got that. And then, oh, guys, these are the cutest things. These are little LED candles, but let's talk about it. Look at my Santa. The nose is what lights up on him and the nose on the snowman. Aren't they so cute? I had to pick them up. Yeah, so they're very cute. That bag is trash. We'll put it in here. This bag has um, soap all in it. the bulb the wrong way bulb oh my knees are never gonna be the same again oh apparently I really liked that bad body wash because I got two con containers of it and then I need the deodorant because that's what you guys want to know tropical paradise 1.2 ounces suave yeah so I needed some and then I picked these up and they were the last ones just hanging out somewhere and they are 10 pieces LED wire lights, but I don't know if you guys can see them or not. Ah, they're gnomes. Can you see the gnomes? They're so cute. They're gnomes. So I got those because I thought they were cute. Okay. Hold on. my poor little knees and legs. Hold on. I'm going to have to readjust. It's not going to be pretty out here. Ah, okay. And slide on down here, fellas. Okay. This I put in my cart and then, you know, I've always said like, I'll put stuff in my cart and then I'm like, hmm, do I really want it? So then I go back to the store and put stuff back. This somehow made it out with me. It says $2, but I did not. Mm, no, I did. I did pay $2 because this is actually, I'm lying from Family Dollar. So this is watermelon flavored lip gloss, 0.11 ounces. That's the container. I did pay $2 for this little mini thing. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And then I picked this up. So it's pancake syrup, but it's by Utopia and it's 24 ounces. So it says my neighbors are listening to the, watching the football game. So the Arizona Cardinals are playing tonight, which is my team and we're losing. And so I got mad. That's why I came out here to do the haul. So I'm hoping that when I go back in, we're going to be winning. But so this is by Monarch LLC in East Brunswick, New Jersey. But it was not like a generic kind, so I thought I'll try it for a dollar. So I got that. <laughs> no, go in my film. Oh no. So I just hit the ball. Yeah, that's a sign. What else do I have here? Okay, a lot. So I picked these up also, and they are the Christmas trees, you guys. The LED Christmas trees, still cute, very cute. Okay in the box. 
And then I picked these up, three pieces of each, the chunky brushes. I do not like them. They work like crap. But I picked them up to put into my patient's baskets for their um, bathtub paint. So I picked those up. But these, no ma'am. I do not like them for crafting. Not that I'm very good at crafting, but those make me even worse. And then this is my genius idea, okay? So I got this one that says jingle all the way. And I got this one that says let it snow. And I thought, well, I'm just going to stick them in my tree somewhere. Like, I don't know. Like, people stick anything and everything in their trees. And so I was like, well, I'll just stick this in there somewhere and it'll make it look really pretty. So they're just going to be stuck in my tree somewhere. That's my plan. And I got, here's another one of the brownies. Amazing buy for a dollar. My stores are, ooh, hit the ball again. My stores are still one dollar. Thank goodness. Okay, you guys. I was so, oh, and it's open, so let me show you. This is the Type-C USB cable, 39 inches, but you guys, look. Oh, <laughs> it's not in there. I took it out. But, you guys, it's not like that one that nobody ever uses. You know what I mean? Like, they always have those ones that are in cute colors, but you're like, what the heck do we even use that for? I used that on my phone when I was 50 years ago. So, no. But this one is like the phone for mine. I have a Samsung, and this is really like my charger phone. So I was extremely excited to find this. Yes. Extremely excited. Oh, this one I was excited about too. You guys, I got two of these and this is Star Wars, the Mandalorian LED nightlight by Disney, the child, my middle son. So I am making him, um, like one of his kind of little gifts, just kind of like mom loves you gifts is a movie. So the other, yesterday's haul, or the haul, the haul right before this, um, you saw um, a Star Wars like bag because he lives in LA, so he uses the reusable bags. So I'm making him like a movie themed bag. And so I also have the director's thing that I found. And um, so I'm gonna like put his name on it with my Cricut and stuff like that. And then this, I'm gonna put this in his bag because he loves Star Wars and this is still a movie. And then what did he say he wanted? Like, I think it's like 917. I don't know, it's some new movie that came out. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then like going along with the theme, I picked these up, Movie Madness Trivia Game. So I just picked these up so that we can put them in there. And there is 52 question cards. And then I picked up a puzzle, the Titanic. They had um, office space, but I got them that last year. And um, so yeah, this is just the Titanic because it's a whole movie themed bag. And then I'm going to put these little mini bags in there because these are also movies. So there's that one. And it says, join the league. So, and there's two, two in one. And they're very cute. They're very cute. Um, is that? And then I'm going to put this like popcorn in it. Like, I mean, he's in college, so he appreciates anything. I think that's all for his bag. No, it's not. I was so excited. So I also made him, oh gosh, I did the video a while ago of the like memory book that I made him and he puts his pictures in it of like, he just got back from Florida going to Disney world. He's gone to Disneyland with his friends. So he honestly still prints out pictures and puts them in the, um, like the journal photo album I gave him. He said, mom, do you, can you make me one of those picture book things? I'm like a photo album? Yeah. So I found these and there's 12 and I was like, oh my gosh. So I got these for him so that he can also put them in his bag because they're cute. So excuse me. So I think that's all for his bag for right now. I'm sure I'll find more. But it's just cute little things. Like obviously they get like big things, but they know. They're always like, mom, I don't know why you spend the money like this. So we don't even use half of it. I'm like, yeah, but it just makes me feel better to buy it. So I did pick up two of these and they're just the basket bags, um, two count in each and they're 22 by 25 by four inches. And this one is red with candy canes. I thought it was so cute. And this one is blue with snowflakes. Did that one. And then I love these. So I found these and they are four different ones, aren't there? Yes. And I might go back and get more because they're so cute. So they are little books and they are by, I think they're by Greenbrier. Yes. And so this first, it's, this first one is 32 activity pages, one 3D sticker sheet, one paper sticker sheet. And it says over 40 puffy stickers. And this first one is gnomes and friends. So there's a Christmas tree and these are the stickers and they're like connected to this page right there. And then you open it and then like, I mean, there's just like so many different things you can do in here. So this one is all like gnome themed. 
Um, I mean, they're so cute. So cute. So there's that one. And then this one has the same thing, but this one is, um, yeah, so that one is gnome and this just says happy holidays. So this is just like the normal, wait, does it show you on the back? Oh yeah. So here is the back of this one. So it shows like a little gnome activities. And then here is the back of this one. It shows like a little red truck and Santa and just tic-tac-toe and all that. So, I mean, it's got a lot of pages. Oh, and then there's regular stickers back here. And then there's puffy stickers up there in both. And then these are gingerbread Christmas. So it's the same thing. Oh, okay. Can we talk about this one right here? The, look at the donuts or the cookie. I don't care what it is. It's so cute. So, and this, these are the pages like in here. So cute. And then on the back, like, what does this one say? Count the gumdrops, count the cookies. I mean, these are so cute. So there's that one. And then this one is called the Magical Snow Globe. And look at that unicorn. Ah, can you see it? There's a unicorn right there. It is so cute. And the dinosaur. Yes. And then this is the back right here with the different things. And then where's the back page of this one? There's the back page of this one with all those stickers. What is this page? Oh, this page right here just has like the little door hangers. So cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love it. Is it Christmas yet? That's a puzzle. Yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh, these are so flipping cute. I need to go get more. But so I got these, but then I was like, well, what am I going to put them in? And every bag I found was not wide enough for them. So I found these and they are the 16 piece sheet protectors and they're 8.5 um, inches by 11 inches. And so I got, which I don't know where they're at right now, but I'm sure they're in another haul. I got like crayons and stuff too. And I have pencils and more stickers inside. So I got these sheet protectors. Oh, the Lord help me if this does not work because it took me forever in that store to figure it out. No, they do. Yay. So I am going to use these as my gift bags because I got them so late. I don't know if Amazon would be able to deliver like the other ones in time. So I'm just going to cut off this edge, not too close because I don't want it to open. I'm just going to cut off this white part though. And then I'll put like their gifts in it. And then I'm just going to take the top like that. And that will be my little gift bag for them. Like I said, I'm going to put some crayons in there. I'm going to put, I got some more pencils and some more stickers. And then, yeah, I'm just going to like staple the top and then this is going to be their little gift bag. And that came with 16. So I was very excited about that. And that took me a while to figure out because I was like, oh, I don't want it to look unorganized. Even though my life is unorganized, let me tell you. And let me just show you some more things. What does this say? Diamond shaped glass vase, 4.33 inches by 5.47 inches. Can we just talk about the color? Like it is just so beautiful, the reflecting of it. It's so beautiful. Like this camera is not even doing it justice. It is so pretty. If this mat doesn't leave me alone, I'm going to have an issue. Here is another one I found. Is it broken? No, it's just cracked like that all the time. I always have an issue with my stuff. No, it's not. It's not cracked. But this one says it's another vase crackle texture, 3.39 inches by 5.12 inches. This color is gorgeous. And it's a cracked vase. It's supposed to look like that, guys. So that is so pretty. Let's see what else. Like I said, it's like Christmas Day up in here, guys, because I do not remember. Ooh, I got two of those. So I got one in this. Ooh, this one is beautiful. Is that a crack? No, oh, it's just how it is. Yeah, that's just how it is. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But look at this one, guys. That purple is so... Oh, my gosh. I love it. I could never make a... Um, a thumbnail. I will hold something in front of the camera for an hour and I can't get a thumbnail. Apparently I like this and it's just a candle thing. So I'm not sure what was so interesting about it, but I got it it's just a white candle holder. Maybe like this is a vase. Maybe I could put like a candle in it. I don't know. My luck that will fall off. So I'm not even going to play around with that. And then I did pick up another one of these small ones. I thought I picked up the large ones, but apparently I was in love with the small ones and only got these small ones, but I love them. So I'll find something to do. And then the last thing is not exciting, but I thought I had different stuff over here and we're already at 30 minutes. So we're good. But I picked up four of these also, and they're all in different ones, different, um, like 
shapes and animals. So when I find those, I'll show you those ones too. But it's because I needed these little hand thingies for my patients to go with their little bathtubs, with their little bath bombs and their um, bath their bath bombs, their bath crown, crayons, and their um, bath paints. And so, of course, they needed a little bath spongy thing that's um, an animal. So this one is a frog. So I think that's it for right now, guys. We are 30 minutes in, and now I have to clean this up because it's right in the walkway. Like that right there is the door to my garage, and that is my car. And this is the only walkway because this is covered with my stuff. Yeah, so after Christmas, I really need to organize and then maybe I'll show you guys my craft room because I'm a hot mess right now. So anyways, guys, I'm 30 minutes in. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm in love with my vases. I totally forgot I got these. The purple is my favorite. Um, anyways, I think that's it, guys. And I will probably show you the crayons and stuff once I'm done if they turn out. I've never done it, but I'm going to try it. Anyways, guys, I hope that you are having an amazing day. I'm truly trying to get some DIYs up, but I'm so exhausted that I'm not even doing DIYs. Like, so I can't put a video up if I'm not doing it. Like I might write myself a list. I'm like, this is what I'm gonna do. And by the time I come home from work, I physically feel like I'm going to pass out or die. Like I'm so exhausted. So, um, but my doctor that I went to today is like 100% on the case and that, um, if he, if it's what he thinks it is after um, my blood work comes back, he said it's very, very intense blood work. So some of it won't be back for two weeks, but I'm fine with that as long as it comes back. And um, so, yeah, like, and in the meantime, if I continue to get worse, then I will go back in for infusions, but not to the same doctor's office. I will go to a different, um, hosp I'll go to an actual hospital for them just because, um, we kind of want to cut ties with my other doctor because, you know, I mean, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so for right now, we feel like we're on the right track. And again, if I just start getting worse and worse, then we will, um, we will go back for infusions until the blood work comes back. But if it is what we hope it is, then it is hopefully pretty curable. So we're excited. And so hopefully in two weeks we will find out. But anyways, guys, I hope that you have an amazing day. I have a huge mess to clean up and then to go see if my football team is winning. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.